everybody. God bless you. Good evening. This is Tommy Favor. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I did a, a live video. Just uh, had a lot going on lately, but uh, I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to uh, not fall off the grid for too long. <laughs> so God bless you guys. As usual, this is my time driving home from work. I uh, I wanted to do a quick video on uh, Valentine's. You know, tomorrow happens to be Valentine's Day, and um, I I wanted to share some thoughts that I have about Valentine's Day. Um, I know there are a lot of Christians out there who might be like, "Oh, Valentine's is you know a pagan holiday and commercialized and everything," which I agree to some degree, you know, um, Valentine's Day is definitely one of those money-making uh, <laughs> holidays for most companies because they sell stuff, they make money, you know, they make money on Valentine's, but at the same time, um, I am of the opinion that we live in this world, we're not of this world, yes, but at the same time, you do have to take advantage of the system you're a part of so i'm not one of those christians that's gonna say oh valentine's day is ungodly you shouldn't celebrate valentine's and blah 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 no i will encourage you to celebrate love if you're married uh oh my gosh what an opportunity for you to show your spouse a wonderful amazing time and share your love and express how much you care for that person that God has blessed you to be with. If you're not married and you're single, um, you know, my I love my pastor, <laughs> Pastor Bio Fadu at Dominion Chapel. You know, he, he will straight up be like, look, that's when you need to get to know people, go out on a date, something. You know, you can't sit in church all your life and sit behind the pew and expect God to speak to Mr. So-and-so from, you know, God knows where and show them a picture of you hiding behind the pew to travel and come find you behind the pew, okay? <laughs> so get out from behind the pew or, or from your house, you know. Pastor Fadugba made a joke recently, I think, I think it was last Sunday. He said, if you're sitting home expecting to meet people the only person you're going to meet is the pizza guy who comes to deliver pizza when you're ordering in. Okay, so that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> so, yes, be social, hang out with people, get out there, make friends, make connections. But the thing is, as a Christian, you know your limits. You know who you serve. You know what Christ has told you. You know you are to maintain your purity. You know what lines not to cross. You know the curfews you need to keep. You, you know all that stuff. You know, nobody has to tell you that stuff. If you have the Spirit of God living on the inside of you, you know that gentlemen, ladies, that you need to kind of back away from after 8 o'clock because you know you like them and they like you and you don't want to get into compromising situations where you're isolated and you can allow your lust to you know kind of spring up and take a hold of you do not put yourself in those compromising situations i'm speaking from experience um and and so uh valentine's yes valentine's day please dear christians do not get so holy that y'all want to act like don't have sex for those of you who are married and for those of you who are not married and you're Christian please don't act all holy like you have never thought of sex or you didn't want to engage in intimacy with other people so part of my thing with Christianity is I do not believe in hypocrisy please don't lie to yourself don't lie to other people but it's even worse when you start lying to yourself and deceiving yourself uh, Christianity is not to delude yourself or to tell yourself lies. The idea 
in Jesus Christ is for you to know the truth and the truth will set you free. And so part of Valentine's Day, it, it revolves around relationships. You know, I, I have a lot of sister friends out there who are probably single and you might be feeling lonely. You know, you're not really getting into the whole Valentine's thing because you don't have a bae, a boo, you know, somebody you can say, I love you too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to rhyme. That was really cheesy. But <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, you know, don't lie to yourself. Don't act like, oh, it's not a big deal. If it's a big deal to you, you know what? Talk to God about it and say, Lord, you know, I really want to be with somebody. But, you know, whatever it is, I'm whatever phase you're in, if God is having you be single right now, that's fine. Learn. How about tomorrow if it's Valentine's and you don't have people to go hang out with? Make that a day to study up on relationships. You know, Lord, I'm not married yet, but you know what? Let me pray about this and say, you know, when I get involved with somebody, this is what I want to do. This is who I want to be. This is how I would plan my time out with them. This is how I would hang out. This is what we would talk about. You know, just have a, a plan. Have a logical literal thing in place that you can engage hi guys sorry about that i was in an area of bad service and so i kind of lost my signal but i'm back on now so like i was saying it's about being you know being um being real you know and don't lie to yourself and say well no i don't care i don't feel lonely or whatever no be realistic be realistic but at the same time, you know, talk to God. Talk to God about it. And don't be alone. Tomorrow, Valentine's Day, if all your friends are hanging out, please don't sit at home and start, you know, fantasizing and watching, you know, romantic movies that will get you into a state of mind of lust. Don't do that to yourself. Because one, that's not going to glorify the Holy Spirit. And two, um, that's just not going to help you get anywhere if you're single. Um, so, like I said, if you're single, look, pray about it, think about it, make plans. Imagine what you're, you know, what you would literally plan to do when God blesses you to be in that situation. If there's someone who has the love of God, the fear of God, you know, who um, who's a godly person, you know what? And they reach out to you, hey talk to them it, it is an opportunity for you to connect with people like i said don't be a homebody and expect you know mr perfect to come find you in the middle of nowhere <laughs> for instance my church dominion chapel tomorrow uh tomorrow evening we have wednesday night bible study but they're gonna be having bible study and they're talking about you know issues relating to sex interracial dating what is god's will divorce marriage all this kind of stuff and it's church you know i'm not saying church is a perfect place or you don't get crazy people in church but that's a nice social event it's not social like you're talking to people left and right but you are in the midst of people you will get to hear the word of god but at the same time after service there might be somebody there you're like hey hi how are you doing good to see you you just you make connections you understand what i'm saying um so that's that on the single people i think y'all get the idea for married folk oh my gosh especially african married people please y'all tomorrow is valentine's day um don't be so cheesy don't don't be so cheesy that you're like oh it's just valentine's day it doesn't mean anything yeah it means something you know if you if you're married please don't just say oh it's valentine's it's no biggie we've been married for 45 years two months and three days you know don't let it become cliche you know be creative i don't know just take some time enjoy utilize this day you know that is set apart for quote unquote love to show love to your significant other to your love to the person that god has blessed you with um 
like I said, especially my African people, because you guys know culturally, y'all could be really boring, especially the guys, you know, even the women too sometimes, y'all be adventurous, you know, have fun, you know, this person is in your life. I don't think people understand how deep marriage is, like marriage means in an ideal, you know, relationship of marriage where there's, you know, where there's no cheating, you know, there's no infidelity, there's faithfulness and true love. This is a relationship that this person has committed themselves into your hands to be the only person that they will be with for the rest of their lives. That's a big deal, you guys. Do you understand? God, only God could be the author of marriage because human beings would not come up with that. Human beings cannot come up with such a concept. And that's why as a Christian, I always tell my friends and people around me, look, marriage is not your idea. Marriage is not a political construct. Marriage is not the government's idea. Marriage is not society's creation. It is God's idea. It is God's creation. Because marriage is this covenant where one person finds another person and they decide to be together for the rest of their lives that is it blows my mind only christianity you know tells you that listen this is god's idea and that's the way it should be and man shouldn't mess with it you know what you think doesn't really matter because you're not the author of it god is but marriage is crazy, you guys. It's the one relationship that says, hey, from the moment that this ring goes on my finger and I accept you as the love of my life, I am rejecting all others. That means, as a woman, that cute guy, you know, just in case your spouse is getting a pot belly <laughs> and losing their hair, you know, and you see that cute guy who comes along, you know, with muscles or whatever, and he's young, or maybe your hubby drives, you know, an old Toyota or something, and this guy comes through with the Bugatti, and he's looking at you and checking you out, and he even gives you some attention. Marriage says, sorry, dude, no go. We're sold out. This ring says nobody else can come talk to this female. That's how it works in marriage. Marriage says to the man, you know, maybe your spouse, she's not looking all that cute. You know, she's been working. She's tired. She doesn't do her hair the way she used to and blah, blah, blah. Your, your vow is still your vow. Your wedding ring says it doesn't matter how she looks right now. It doesn't matter that maybe she's not paying you the attention you want her to you will remain faithful that's crazy that's why i said marriage is not a construct of man because if man had anything to do with it the minute your spouse started acting up you'd be like Psh, forget this i'm out you know you go hang out with a co-worker have an affair fornicate commit adultery you know if marriage was man's idea, man could tweak it and be like, yo, men with men, you know, women with women, whatever, all that stuff. But it's not your it's not your idea. You didn't come up with it. God came up with it. And what God commands is one man, one woman. What God commands is faithfulness. Keep your married marriage bed pure. What God says is don't fornicate. Don't go out and have a bunch of relationships before you get married and where you're sexually intimate with those people you create soul ties with those people and then later in life it's a mess and that's why you guys uh, i think it was two three days ago now on saturday i released this song called wait for me shay and i um shay played sax on it i wrote it we did it together and that song says you know wait for me wait for me and the idea behind that song is that imagine the person you're ultimately going to end up with if you're not married and if you are married imagine your spouse the person that you have committed your life to to in marriage to be faithful to 
imagine them looking at you and seeing you in a compromising situation and saying no 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 please wait for me because i mean like i said especially to the single people imagine you're you know the person you're eventually going to end up being married to imagine if they saw your lifestyle today not in the future when you guys are married, but today, before you even meet them. Imagine they could look at all your sexual habits. Imagine they could look at all your relationships. Imagine, would they be proud of you? Would they be excited about the history you've laid down before meeting them? And, and that was the idea behind that song. This is, you know, wait for me, my love, you know, don't let the world lie and tell you you have to compromise. You know, for the young people, please do not sell your body. Do not let anybody just hop into bed with you. And don't give away your virginity. If you've already lost your virginity, it's okay. Ask God for forgiveness. God loves us. He's not hovering over us just to destroy us because we messed up. But at the same time, when God gives us his, his words and says, you know, don't fornicate, don't commit adultery, be faithful to your spouse, keep your marriage bed pure, don't, you know, don't ruin your relationships, be faithful. When God gives us these words of his that he expects us to follow, it's for our own good. It's so that we don't end up being hurt. But like I said, to the young person out there, don't give away your virginity. You know, don't go sleeping around. Don't let, you know, some guy give you a bunch of chocolates and and just be like, oh, I like you so much. And just because he said that, you hop into bed with him and let him take away your virginity. No, don't do that. That's You're not cheap. You are not cheap. I don't care how low you think, you know, you are. If you have low self-esteem, you are worth more. You deserve better than for somebody who does not respect you enough to put a ring on your finger, marry you, talk to your family, your friends, your parents, and publicly display and publicly express their desire to have you in their lives because they love and value you so much and someone who is not willing to make a lifetime commitment to you, to your dreams, to your values, to your body, to who you are, they don't earn the right to strip you and see you naked and get all your goodies and then get up in the morning and walk away without any responsibility. No, you might not hear this in church. <laughs> you might not hear this from people, but you heard it from Tommy Favor, just in case we forgot. We all know, but I'm just reminding us just in case we forgot. For the young people out there, do not sell your body short. D don't sell yourself short. Don't sell your body to people who don't value you. You are worth more than jewels. You are, you are created in the image of God. You are special. Don't sell your body. Okay? Valentines or no Valentines. Boyfriend or no, or no boyfriend. Until that person makes a lifelong commitment to you, they do not deserve to be sexually intimate with you. Maintain your purity. Like I said, if you've already lost your virginity, it's fine. Ask God for forgiveness. He will forgive you and you can move on from there. But from that point on, know your worth and save it for marriage because like i said that song that i released on saturday says wait for me y'all can watch it on youtube soundcloud listen to it wherever but the idea is imagine that person you're eventually going to end up with you know if you're not married imagine the person you're going to get married to someday in the future like fast forward five years from now ten years from now and you're married imagine if you could see that person would you be happy seeing them in the back seat of a car sleeping with somebody? Would you be happy seeing them just having one night stands all over the place? You're not going to be proud of that, especially when you found that person that you love. So don't do it today. Don't mess up today so you can have good memories tomorrow. And for the married people, like I said, hmm, marriage can be tough sometimes. 
sometimes the person you're married to neglects your emotions maybe they're not re you're not really feeling them right now they're not respecting what you want from them they're not giving you the attention that you perhaps they're not loving you the way you want to be loved perhaps they're not caring for you how you want to be cared for you still need to be faithful to your marriage and in that scenario imagine that person the improved better sorry my baby's calling me i'm gonna call him right back i just sent him a text message but um imagine that spouse of yours in the future if if the spouse you're with right now if they don't they're not loving you the way you want to be loved maybe they're being disrespectful or they're hurting your emotions or they're not showing you love and attention the way that you want to if you're married maybe your wife isn't being as sexually forthcoming as you would like her to be if you're married and perhaps your husband is not as emotionally considerate as you would like him to be perhaps he doesn't buy you presents and all this stuff and you're frustrated your emotions are feeling you know down you're dejected just imagine that person in the future when they finally grow when they're better when they're doing what you want them to do and becoming that better person that God intends for them to become and for you to wait for them to become imagine them looking back at you today would they be proud of how you stuck it out for them? Or will they be disappointed because you started paying attention to the coworker at your job who was paying some attention to you? You know, for the guys, to that cute little secretary that's like, hey, you're awesome, you're so smart, you're so this, you're so that. Yeah, it feels good. It, it's nice to get that attention from somebody as a woman if your husband is not paying attention to you being emotionally sensitive to your needs and then you got that nice you know old friend of yours you know who comes around and he's like wow you're so beautiful you're so smart oh my gosh thank you for all the great things you're doing and he's they're they're showering you with that attention that you're missing out on in your own home please don't pay attention to those advances you know let your spouse when they become improved and better and when you guys are not fighting when you look back on today from the future let them be able to see that you remained faithful you stayed faithful to your vows you stayed faithful to your marriage you stayed faithful to that commitment and I'm not saying it's easy don't get me wrong I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying that's what is right for us to do as Christians. That's what Christ has commandment, commanded. And you guys know whatever God commands, he blesses when you're obedient to it. So um, Valentine's, back to Valentine's tomorrow, you guys. Please be creative. For the men out there, please, if you're married and you're a guy, do something special for your wife, okay? If you ain't got money, you don't need to take her out. The funny thing about women is you don't have to do this amazing, huge, big stuff. Buy her some flowers, some chocolate, you know, wash the dishes, you know, take out the trash, you know, just have an hour of a beautiful maid house and just chill with her and talk with her and tell her how much you love her and blah 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 women are so like we're we're so mush you know <laughs> we're so mush it doesn't take you doing a whole lot to impress a good woman okay you just have to show her love and attention if you're out there and you're a woman and you're married you know shower your husband with some love tomorrow it's called love day valentine's day take advantage of it use it. It, it maybe it has pagan roots it doesn't matter we don't care we know who we serve we know we love jesus and jesus is all in all but let's use that advantage of tomorrow and the hype it gets to show your your husband that you love him 
you know whatever he likes to see you dressed in dress up in it just so he can see you in that you know shower him with love tell him how cute he is how strong and hard working and a great provider whatever whatever you need to do for that man in your life you know him to a certain degree or y'all wouldn't be married okay you know what he likes just do it it's about giving the bible says you know that love is patient it's kind it's kind you have to be kind think what can i do for this person that they would consider kindness coming from me do it for them if you're single and you're not married out there you're a guy if if you know it's time for you to start thinking about getting married I know I was laughing on Sunday because I was talking to some of the single guys at church in our choir and in our in our church group. And, and I was just laughing at them because I'm like, half these females are single, but they are scared to approach you guys. They're waiting on you guys to go talk to them. And they're like, yeah, but what if they say no and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, at least try show them some attention you know let them know where you're coming from and and then if they're not interested then fine so be it but you know there are people out there who want to be in relationships and they're scared to come talk to you so go talk to them you know help them out a little if you're the woman show some interest you know be nice be kind be gentle be be considerate be a godly woman be the kind of woman that can be found, that can be chased by a man when he sees the good qualities in you. And after thinking about a bunch of different people, he thinks of you and says, nah, she's the best one out of all of them. I can't do without this person in my life. And if you're a guy out there, you know, clean yourself up, man. Work hard. Do nice things for women. Women need that security, that comfort. They need to know that they're going to be loved. They're watching how you're talking to people. You know, no woman is going to want to commit her life to you if she can't trust that you're going to be kind and loving towards her. You know, and, and if you try to approach a woman and she doesn't give you attention and she's like, no, get away from me. Well, check yourself. What are you doing? What are you exhibiting? Do you have the love of God? Do you have the fear of God? Because believe you me, if you got Jesus in you and God is working in your life and showing love and kindness and goodness, you will be irresistible because nobody will see something that's good and walk away from it. Okay? So if they're running away from you, check yourself because something's wrong <laughs> somewhere. You know, same thing for the women. But listen, those are my Valentine thoughts. I don't want this to go on and on and on. Show love, show love, show love. The right kind of love. If you're married, you know how your spouse wants to be loved. Love them. And if you're not married, show love, godly love. Respect people, talk to people, call on people, check on them. Hey, how are you doing today? You're sitting at home feeling lonely. Maybe somebody else is home feeling lonely you know and and i'm not necessarily saying ladies go call a guy or a guy go call a lady maybe it's your buddy friend a guy maybe a guy and your guy friend is home and he's not he's he's feeling dejected he's like man i'm getting old i've tried talking to a couple girls and they don't like me back the way i like them or whatever you know call them up check on your buddy love him in the sense of brotherly love like hey man what's going on with you how can i help you out what let's pray together man let's believe god together because guess what you helping that person not feel dejected not feel lonely to feel loved hey it might be his sister you know or his sister's friend that you know he's gonna end up getting that connection to you you know and you get blessed from because it, life is all about relationships you know don't be nice to people be kind to people be considerate be thoughtful tomorrow valentine's day you don't have to call the girls and be like hey i think you're cute because it's valentine's day no if you're a guy out there and maybe there's a sister friend and you know y'all know you're not into each other it's not it's not that kind of relationship it's a platonic relationship but you know she's feeling down 
call her up and say hey sis what's going on with you are you okay i know it's valentine's how you feeling i hope you're not home eating a tub of ice cream feeling depressed you know just encourage somebody love people the godly way and it'll amaze you how those relationships you cater to in your life and that you feed and that you take care of will connect you to other better relationships you know some of you maybe maybe it's an elderly person in your church and they don't their kids aren't around it's just them by themselves and maybe their their spouse passed away a couple years ago or something maybe they're lonely you know you have this elderly person who's lost their spouse and their kids are grown and gone and they're out of state and no one's calling to check up on them love that person tomorrow's valentine's day you know be cheesy <laughs> if you're a guy and that person is a guy and his wife died or something call him up be nice to him because you it's i'm not saying be nice to them just because of what you can get don't get me wrong but just be loving to people show forth god's love the bible says let brotherly love continue that means you know platonic you know, uh, uh, phileo, Philadelphia, that kind of love. Let that love of people exude from you. Because you'll be amazed how those relationships you cater to. Maybe it's a, it, like I said, maybe it's that old person whose spouse passed away and they're lonely. But you call them, you check on them, you take them some soup. You, you're nice to them. And you never know, it might be their grandson's teacher somebody i don't know just god knows how he makes these connect connections i mean if you think about it like i started with marriage is crazy you guys i mean i think about my my marriage to my hubby and my spouse somewhere a long time ago tommy was born in a, this random obscure place in africa and thousands of miles away in a totally different part of my country, my hubby had been born. And he was a little kid running around too somewhere. But God in his amazing, infinite wisdom, knowledge and understanding and creativity. God is the most amazing orchestrator. These two random people who did not know each other went to school, developed gifts and talents, grew up in their families and somehow maneuvered through life and connected with one relationship, connected with another relationship, connected with another relationship. And this person talked to that person and they heard their name from this person and that person. And finally, boom, I met my hubby and here we are, we're married, we have children, we have a loving marriage and a relationship. That's crazy. Only God could do that because the Bible says God knew the end from the beginning. So while I was being born, little premature Tommy going wah, 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 <laughs> God already knew <laughs> years later who he had on earth that I was going to end up with. And that person was going to value every good decision that I made in my relationships and my sexual choices all the way up to the point that I met him. So have that mindset, you guys, about love, about marriage, about relationships, about being faithful. For the young people, abstinence, purity, chastity, these things are not old. Don't let the world try to lie to you and tell you that you're old school for wanting to stay pure, for respecting your body and not selling it cheaply to every Tom, Dick, and Harry that comes around and wants to, you know, be intimate with you. No, they don't deserve your body. You are not cheap. You are not a prostitute. You do not have to prostitute yourself in order to get attention. For my female friends who are single, when a man loves you, he will, he will find you. He will do the work. So if somebody is in your life that's not willing to do the work, not willing to show v value into you of who you are to them, don't give them attention. They're not for you. Don't go sleeping with somebody else's spouse. Leave them alone. Stay pure because God is watching you guys and we will sow. We will reap what we sow. 
so valentine's day thoughts god bless you please be loving african people tomorrow show some love you know married folk be creative even if you've been married donkey years do something special just as the church we're actually supposed to be showing the world god's love you know that the world should be looking at us and be jealous <laughs> Of how well we love each other in marriage and in our single relationships. Of the confidence we exude as single people. And of the amazing volcanic level of love that we show in marriage. The world should be looking at us to learn what love is. We shouldn't be looking at them. Okay? That's how it should be. So... Just a gentle reminder from Tommy Favored. Single people, keep your purity. Maintain your purity. Love God. Wait for that person God has for you. Don't sell yourself short. For the married people, love your spouse. Love them past their pain. Love them past their bad habits. Love them past their bad breath in the morning. Just love on them. <laughs> And um, God will continue to see us through. God bless you guys. I got to go. Thank you. And um, and if you don't mind, I just want to pray real quick before we go. Father God, I thank you so much for everybody who's going to watch this and who's watching this right now. I just pray for them, Lord. First of all, that they can know the love of Jesus. That love that is so eternal and so perfect. Because when they know you, you Jesus, God, who is love. And they will have love to show other people. And everybody is capable of loving when they're connected to you because you're the source. And you will just flow that love right through them to everybody they come in contact with. For the single people, help them to connect with the right spouse, the people you have in store for them. Oh God, give them wisdom, discernment, the ability to be equally yoked with people. Um, and for the married people, I pray for every marriage that is going through storms right now. Father, help them to, to overcome those, those challenges, to stay faithful to one another, not to commit adultery, not to break their vows, but to, to maintain their love for one another, oh God. And that every power of, of, of this world and, and frustration that makes marriages fall apart, we pray against it and we just pray for wisdom and, and, and patience and humility and kindness for your people. Help them to, to really love genuinely and, and have relationships that last forever. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful night. Bye.